Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be looking at something I should have done a while ago. It's the TWAB from last week, and we're going to be looking at the customizable ghosts. I'm not going to show the whole thing because it's just a bunch of letters. So I'll probably have some gameplay of me doing something in Iron Banner or whatever. So, customizable ghosts. A guardian's ghost is their most trusted ally and is tasked with keeping them in the fight. Your ghost isn't just in charge of bringing you back from the brink. It also comes with some perks and wide range of cool looks to choose from. You have some changes planned for your floaty friends and asked designer Mina Jasinski to tell us about what her team is doing to improve how you customize your ghosts. Ghosts have always been important partners to our guardians in, in the Destiny universe, but they haven't received any meaningful updates in, some, in quite some time. To allow ghosts to truly shine as the useful and interesting companions we'd like them to be, we have decided it was time to give them a bit of an overhaul. In Destiny 2 Beyond Light, ghosts have received a system update which shares some functionality to what was done with armor in Shadowkeep. Here's a brief outline of what to expect. Ghost shells will now have energy levels access and access to mods with various energy costs instead of being preloaded with specific perks. This treatment has been applied to all ghosts outside of the generalist shell. If you guys don't know, the generalist shell is literally the white shell, that, the green one I think. So. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to see the general shell become a legendary so that way I could use it, but it's whatever, honestly. So you can use your favorite ghost shells regardless of tier. <clears throat> um, whatever. A selection of mods will be available on all ghost shells by default, while the remaining ones will be obtainable via various gameplay sources. Information on where to find these mods can be learned from collections. Oh, okay. Ghost mods will now be obtained from gameplay reward loops and will not be purchasable, purchasable from Eververse. Hmm. Ghosts now have four mod slots. Three are unlocked by default and the fourth is unlocked by master working the ghost shell. One of our goals with this update was to separate visuals from functionality. We wanted any ghost shell to be viable and still have access to highly useful mods regardless of tier or source. You'll be able to select your favorite ghost shell based on appearance without any deter determin determinant to your experience. Whether you purchase a ghost shell from Eververse or earn it from the newest raid or pull an old favorite out of collections, your ghost will now have access to all the same mods from across your account. From there, you can increase energy levels on your favorite ghost shells and set each of them up with different mod combinations of your choosing. Cool thing to note is that they're not gonna take golf balls. So if you guys don't know what golf balls are, they're ascension, they're ascension, they're ascending. They're, fuck. Oh my God, I'm trying to, I'm blanking on this stupid thing that I've been farming for like a week. Uh, ascendant shards, there we go. So it's the thing that you have to get like to, to unlock the last tier for armor. You don't have to use those on ghosts. I think, who was it, DMG actually said that on a Reddit post or something. So that's fucking awesome. If I can find it, I'll have it in the, the video right now, but I'm pretty sure he said that. I could be super wrong though. So just uh, take it with a grain of salt. As mentioned above, ghosts will not have access to a total of four mod slots, each with their own unique mod selection. There will be an experience mod slot, a tracking mod slot, an economic mod slot, and an activity mod slot. The last of which is unlocked when the ghost is master worked at level 10. You'll be able to mix and match mods from these categories however you like with respect to energy limits. Mod slots each have selection of mods that can be combined to fit your playstyle. For example, a crucible focused player who wants to grind out materials and earn XP towards their seasonal rewards track might choose Guiding Light, Meager Glimmer Booster, and Lesser Core Harvest Crucible. There are there are some, or there are a variety of combinations that can be set on different ghosts to suit whatever goals you might be chasing at the time. For those wondering what will happen to the old ghost perks, most have been brought forward largely unchanged at default unlocked mods. In some cases, such as a destination specific material or cache trackers, those mods have been transformed into globally effective and non-destination specific versions of themselves for better utility. Energy costs for those mods now reflect the increased flexibility and the mods must be earned from various vendor engrams. Kill Tracker and Leviathan boss kill perks will remain intrinsic only to their specific ghost shells. 
even with these changes, you'll still be able to build most of the popular exotic perk combinations that were available previously, such as Guiding Light and Treasure Hunter, along with a plethora of new combinations. We hope that these changes allow you to interact with your ghost more meaningful and help you set up a variety of ghost shells that suit you in various play styles and activities. So, as you guys can see right here, we have a little bit of a showcase for the for our, for our ghost. Oh my god, English. We see the Halloween skin with blinding light which increases xp gains by 12 percent this mod is fragile and will expire at the end of season 15 interesting so do we have to re-earn these each season because it kind of makes no sense to have increased uh, actually you could probably farm the eververse in grubs i guess but this mod is fragile so like I don't like that. Do we have to farm? Like, do you have to each season? Like, okay, cool. Go find blinding light again. I have issues with that because like my blinding or my, uh, whatever the fuck it's called. My guiding light is already at 10% and I don't have to find it ever because it's already intrinsic to my ghost. Sadly, it seems like they're going to be taking that away and introduce it into a new thing where you have to get it each season. Uh, it's it's cool they give us a, an extra two percent but like okay this could be really cool this is gonna be really cool it's just my issue is is the guiding light gonna be something we have to get gain over seasons and not like because if it's like 10 percent is guiding light and that one stays forever but then the one the, tw the 11 and 12 percent are seasonal uh mods that would be fine. I would be okay with that because that's an extra 1% to 2% that you're getting. So, if it's like that, I have no issue with it. If, because it's like, what, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So, I'm guessing the the first mod slot is going to be 7% and it'll rank up all the way up to 12%. Like I said, if we could get the 10%, like once we get it, it never goes away. Or if you have a uh, guiding light... You just get all the all the perks up to 10%. I would be okay with that. Uh, my my thing is too like as much I I I don't want to say I don't trust Bungie, but I will definitely be tracking percentages of how guide or how a uh, guiding light is now, comparing it to the new uh, system that we get. Just because I, you might never know. It's not the first time they've uh, fucked up with our experience gains. They've done it before, so might as well. I'm probably going to make a video on that when this all happens. And then the next one here, you can see Greater Core Harvest Vanguard. Defeating bosses in Vanguard Playlist Strikes or Nightfalls has a chance to award an Enhancement Prism. So, that's cool. Um, I, I personally don't care about that. Not because I think it's garbage, just because I have so much Enhancement Cores that enhancement course is that what i'm thinking it is hold on let me let me open up my dim just in case i'm thinking about the wrong thing because that one might actually be really good if i'm thinking what it is okay yeah so that's what i thought enhancement cores are basically the thing that you can upgrade your armor and your weapons with i thought it was the other one the the upgrade so that we so you can change uh armor burn i thought it was that one if it was that one i would have been like oh fuck that's really good but enhancement prisms like i said they're not they're not wait enhancement prism oh my god this actually might be good i'm a fucking moron hold on all right so i looked up what enhancement prisms are that's pretty cool i guess like it's pretty fire if you guys don't know what enhan enhancement prisms are they're the the material right below the ascendant shards so you definitely do need this to upgrade your armor to level what is it seven and eight i think and nine so this one's really good that's really cool uh we'll see how it works we're definitely gonna see a lot of bugs the first few weeks because that's just how it is like you might never know defeating bosses and vanguard playlist strikes could probably mean a bunch of things like what what if we go to 
a lost sector and that boss actually counts we can just go back in and out and farm these almost forever like that this is really cool i like that i definitely want to see the other ones like because there's more than just one vanguard one so is there other things that we can farm for because if we could farm like me personally enhancement cores are not really a thing that i would be super excited for only because i have 237 of them but if we could get stuff like enhancement prisms or i know i know enhancement prisms are there it's just something like if we can get ascendant shards from like pinnacle shit like let's say defeating bosses in the newest raid has a chance to give you ascendant shards that would be fucking awesome for pvp it, it would probably be like after each three wins in trials you may have a chance to get ascendant shards you know that would be really cool just because uh i don't want to run nightfalls to get ascendant shards all the time it would be really cool to get them in other ways but I like I like I like the I like where this is going for sure. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm really excited for most of these changes. Actually, let's read the last part because I think it's important. Honoring a friend. Next week we have a tribute going live in game to honor one of our dear friends at Vicarious Visions who passed away last year, Matt Helsom. The weekly reset will include a director message that will send you to Mars for a short quest to honor Mr. Helsom. He worked closely with teams at both Bungie and Vicarious Visions on various projects during our partnership, and we wanted to memorialize his contributions in the Destiny community or in the Destiny universe. We wish all of his family and friends and everyone he impacted during his life the very best. Thank you to everyone in the community who joins us in remembering his warm soul, in this warm soul. So I think that's important. I think it's really cool that they're doing this because you know, I don't know. It's very important. So. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about the shells in the comments below. I think that's cool. I think I think this has a lot of potential to be something really cool that the community can really get behind. Or it could be just another source of Bungie doing a lot of shady shit like, you know, tampering with our, our experience gains and just a bunch of stuff. Like this could be really cool or it could just be worse than what we already have. Because personally, the ghost I already have is like really all the ghost, all the things I want, and I don't really need anything else. Because I have speed demon and guiding light. That's pretty much it. I don't use any of like the destination specific perks because I don't farm any of the destination specific uh, material because I have like a thousand on each of them, and I always keep it at a thousand. So it would be cool to see what they're changing but if it's not as good or better than my rival hunter shell which again speed demon and guiding light then i'm probably just gonna be like cool a uh, downgrade for sure but you know i never know this might be really cool uh if they had speed demon and then guiding light and then just other shit on top of that that would be really cool the fact that the ghosts do not take an ascendant shard is something that really makes me excited I do wonder if they're ever going to bring our ghosts to have a uh, light level like in Destiny 1. And you guys don't know in Destiny 1, our ghosts actually became part of our light system. So if our ghost was like low level, then it did impact our light level, which was, I thought was cool. It also gave ghosts a lot more purpose, I guess, mostly because... You had to get the, their light up, and most of the time you would do a raid. And from what I remember, the Taken King, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the Taken King had a really cool ghost that I liked. And then when they brought back the all the raids for the Moments of Triumph, I think? Moments of Triumph, probably. They had a Crota skin that was fucking cool. It was basically like a vanilla ghost, the shell but it had green on it and it, it was really cool so if they bring light level back to ghosts i personally wouldn't mind i did i, th I thought it was really cool that they had that because it gave them more um more importance in the game other than oh do you have i i have like guiding light and speed demon so i'll never look at any other ghost again because back then it was like well do you is it of light level like yeah uh, 
weird tangent, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for this constant support. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to follow me, wait, I already said that. So yeah, just stay safe guys. You know what's happening in the world and I will see you guys later.